Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn a couple things. Can we see the SQL Server user password in SQL Server Management Studio? Number two, can we script out SQL Server user with same password? In this demo, we'll be learning how to create SQL Server login, how to script out SQL Server login with password, and how to migrate SQL Server user from one SQL Server instance to another SQL Server instance without changing the password or without putting the same password in. So this also, this will help you, this particular little demo will help you to migrate your SQL, uh, your uh, logins from one SQL Server instance to another SQL ser Server instance as well. So uh, to answer the first question right here, the, can we see the SQL Server password, uh, SQL Server user password in SQL Server Management Studio? Basically, you can't do that. When you script out to look at the password or you right click on SQL Server login, and look at the password it's all encrypted it's all hashed out even in the script so we're gonna look at that first as well and let's go ahead and um, this is my SQL server right here and in order to go in the login you need to click on security expand the security and here's the login and let's go ahead and create a test login so we're gonna go ahead right click new login so we're going to go ahead and create a SQL Server login, which is test. So I'm going to put the password here and create a login. As you can see right here, uh, the login is created. If you right click and go to the properties, you can't see the password right here. It's all uh, encrypted. And if you try to script out using this method, the script login as to create, you will see right here, uh, this is all encrypted. But uh, also I wanted to mention this, that you cannot use this script to take the user from uh, one SQL Server instance to another SQL Server instance, expecting it to work. Let's go ahead and try this. We're gonna go ahead and take this script and connect with another SQL Server instance right here. This is my SQL Server instance. And I'm going to go ahead and um, create a new query and I'm going to go ahead and create the same user right here called uh, uh, test. I'm not going to disable this because I wanted to make sure that when I script out and I run that script uh, the way that I scripted out right now that whether the password that we know it's gonna work or not. So we're gonna go ahead and create this. So it says it's already exists so let's go ahead and delete that. and we're going to go ahead and run the same script again. So as you can see, and if you refresh right here, the test login is created, and if you right click and go to the properties, the, the password is there, but that is up here. It shows when you script out the way I scripted out, it says the login is created disabled with the random password. This is not the same password that this uh, account is attached to, but I just wanted to create this um, a little scenario so we're gonna go ahead and try to connect using this SQL Server instance uh, sorry SQL Server user so this is my password I know this is right password but again it says login failed for the user so I'm going to cancel it and look at the SQL Server error log to make sure that uh, it really did uh, complain about the password so as you can see the test reason password did not match with the login provided right here. So basically if you create the script the way we created right click and script out the user is not going to work. It needs to be formatted, it needs to convert it into hex first and then after that you can um, you know create the user um, you can get that uh, password uh, basically, it's still you can't read that in uh, a simple text, but that would uh, help you to migrate the user from one SQL Server instance to another SQL Server instance. And that password, you don't have to basically uh, change the password, or put the password again. So we're going to go ahead and cancel this, and we're going to go ahead and delete this login that we just created. All right, let's go back. So we know that uh, scripting out user like this didn't work. So we're gonna go ahead and close this. 
there's a, a script out on Microsoft website I'm using the same script that came from Microsoft website and I just wanted to know just wanted to um, let me close this so I'm going to load that script that I just got it from uh, Microsoft website so here's my script basically what this script does is is script out all the SQL Server login on your particular machine this is your source machine and if you wanted to move SQL Server logins from one server to another destination server then it then it's gonna create a script for you and then you can use that script basically to create the login on the target server so we're gonna go ahead and run this script as you can see that the, the command completed successfully basically what we need to do is now run the stored procedure that it created so we're gonna go ahead and execute it and as you can see it has created scripts for us right here all the logins that exist on this SQL Server right here this is your SQL Server source SQL Server so we're interested in the one that we just created the test so we're going to go ahead and use this script to create let me see if I got all of it yes use this script basically and create it on destination uh, server and see if we basically connect without resetting the password so we're gonna go ahead this is our destination server so I'm going to go ahead and run this script as you can see that this script when we scripted out the way we did just now it's totally different from the right click and script out the login so we're gonna go ahead and create this login command completed successfully let's go ahead and refresh this and we're going to go ahead and see if this login works without us resetting the password so this is my login this is my password and as you can see that it's connected if you script out the way that we did just now then you don't have to worry about resetting the password the password is still not readable for us as you can see that is still hashed out but it's in a format that SQL Server understand and it needs whatever it needs to have that password that you had on your source SQL Server it is there so basically this is it um, we learned how to create a SQL Server login and how to script out SQL Server user with the password and how to migrate from one SQL Server instance to another SQL Server instance without uh, resetting the password or without putting the same password on the target SQL server. I hope this video